kind of CJ's gifts. Um, we are looking at The Good Egg by Jory John, which is the same author as The Bad Seed. I know we've read this one in school, especially before test time, when we can get really stressed out. Uh, the Black Crayon is from one of Mr. C's friends from the office. So Mr. C, you owe me a new book. And yes, I'll be sending this to him, don't worry. But first, we need to read The Good Egg. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things, like I'll carry your groceries, I'll water your plants, I'll change your tires, I'll paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start even in my earliest days back at the store. There were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored their bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. They broke their stuff on purpose. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Nobody seemed to care though. Every night I was exhausted. My head felt, my head felt scrambled. Then one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shelf. They were everywhere. My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everyone was as good as me. I was cracking up, literally. Something had to change. I'd had enough. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days, the days became weeks. I lost track of time and I was alone. Out there on the road under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I need. I took walks, I read books, I floated in the river, I wrote in my journal, I found simple moments to be quiet, I breathed in and I breathed out, and I even started painting. For once I found time for me, and guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. I no longer felt scrambled. I think that was too low. What was that? It's a little bow tie. You can't be scrambled with a bow tie. I started to feel like myself again. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to myself and my fellow ex. Here we go. Everybody missed me. I miss them too. Hello, Meg, howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg, greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, yo, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. Sure, every once in a while, somebody's still a little bad, but it's not like before. Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, and I don't have to be either. Well, I'm okay with that. Yep, the old curtain's back together. We're a solid dozen. It's good to be home. Hi. I love the good egg. He's so good. Good night, Miss EJ's kids. Hope you have a wonderful day. Or night, whatever you, whenever you're watching this.